The breach at the Internet Technology Multinational actually happened in 2014, but only now has Yahoo confirmed it to the media. Usernames and many other sensitive data wound up in cybercriminal hands. Amongst the data that we're now certain was stolen is credit card information. That's worth gold to the hackers. They can sell it over the dark net for good money. The usernames, passwords and email addresses too. Where else does all this spam come from that's sent to me unsolicited? Companies pay really good money to get hold of information like that. Yahoo's data breach isn't the first of its kind. Many other sites have been targeted. In 2012, 117 accounts with business networking site LinkedIn were penetrated. Image hosting site Flickr and microblogging site Tumblr also saw millions of accounts hacked. What can the victims do? Change passwords regularly, at least once a year, and use different ones for each account. Because once a hacker's cracked a password, like they did with the Yahoo email accounts, they can see where else the user's registered, Facebook, Twitter or wherever, and they can get in everywhere. Data theft has turned into a flourishing business all over the world. Hackers are getting to be more professional and ruthless. The only real protection is greater vigilance. I would recommend keeping a very close eye on your emails. Are you getting more spam than you used to? Or if credit card information was stolen, you should definitely watch that activity. Are transactions listed that you yourself didn't make? Then it's time to take action and block those accounts. The security expert recommends sites like Have I Been Pawned, where users can check to see if their privacy has been compromised. 